Welcome to my card art and thank you so much for tuning in. I will be showing you a variety of ideas today and it will be some different ways of you using your ribbons. Now I will not show you the standard ways, I'm just going to show you some different ideas on how to use the ribbons on your cards. Some will be for Mother's Day and some will be for birthdays and I have even a blank one in there. So here we have this card right here. And what I did here is I twisted the ribbon and adhered it to the card base. You see my little brad, I decorated the card. There is that twisted ribbon. So just take a thin ribbon and twist it. And of course you can add a ribbon bow on top. That's pretty standard. So those are not difficult at all. You can do this. And right here, I took two different colors of ribbons, one yellow and one blue. And what I did is I added them on to a different card color. See, I decorated the inside there, but I took different card color and I added one horizontally and I added one vertically. See, super easy. You can do that. And on the next one that you're going to be seeing, it's uh, ribbons that are being used as balloons. So use the ribbons for the strings of your balloons. This way it creates the illusion that your balloons are floating in the air. And that one, look. I just use the ribbon on the ends of the paper to create a banner that moves very freely. Kind of makes the card a little fun. And I incorporated happy birthday on the inside, a little heart with XOXO, and I put glitter on the background there. And I continued the ribbon theme on the inside of the card, just like I did on the outside. These are just some fun ideas for you guys to play with. And of course, you can use whatever colors you wish. You know that. That's pretty easy, right? How about this one? Check this out. You can color in your ribbon. Here I took that beautiful yellow ribbon and I added the grass colors and I continued the theme and it creates the illusion of the floor. And you can use different colors of ribbons with different prints on them and you can color in your ribbons with just watercolor. Here I took a ribbon and I punched the corner on the paper, put a hole in it and I dangled the little heart message. And it's double sided of course. See how easy that is? Look, and the little boots. It's a cute little Mother's Day card because it has that cute little effect. You know, mom wearing her boots out in the garden, gardening. And I even added that old fashioned uh, paper with the, with the chairs and that older background look. But of course, again, you can use a variety of different papers. Now this one, this one doesn't have a ribbon on it, but I really like this card. What I did here is I embossed, you see that? I embossed that blue card and then I added some paper that I cut out, but instead of the paper, you can use a white ribbon for your background. And that yellow flower, it's made of yarn, it's handmade. See how easy that is? A couple of messages on the inside and you can cut out uh, a ribbon from paper, <laughs> had that in there. And the, the, um, the middle of that flower, that's a button. See that? That's a cute decorative button. And I just sewed that onto the card. See how easy that is? You can do this. Simple ideas. I just wanted to give you guys the creative idea that you can use on your own with your own projects. Now, this is one of my favorite ways to add words using ribbons. So you punch holes where the words are forming their shapes. See the tips? right there on top, left and right and on the bottom. And I just thread the ribbon through. And all you do is punch holes on the paper and create your words, very easy. You can glue the ribbon directly to the card and make it hold the flower as well, just like that. See, and it stays. So simple yet so effective. And you can use a person's name. You can use the word like here I did mom for happy mother's day. With tiny little butterflies I added, super, super tiny ones. And of course I incorporated those tiny little butterflies on the front and on the inside of the card. See that? Tiny little butterflies right there. So you could decorate your cards. I even have one where my left finger is too, or my thumb is, see that? And the one on the right and some more where it says, I'm so blessed because of you. Stay tuned. There's a little bit more ideas here for you. And you guys use ribbons a lot, I'm sure. And you have your own ways and your own projects. These are just some ideas that I came up with to give you guys some creative ways of making your own cards. See, that's a button. And I did the same thing. I just sewed it onto the card. And it kind of fit really cute on the word mom. Now here, I layered two ribbons. And then I folded the card. 
see that? And it's a shaker card. And it unfolds, and I specifically made the ribbons uh, not perpendicular to one another, and I made it kind of uh, lopsided. And I added the ribbons under the flower to give more of a, a depth and a dimension. And see, the ribbons are different colors, and one is silver and one is kind of a, like a moth color. But see, I didn't make it straight on purpose. And that's a shaker card. See how easy it is? And it creates a lot of illusion that a lot of um, different ways uh, you, can, you can create your card and still make it very simple. Here's one more. Hang on. So this uh, next video coming up is for an extra large card. If you have a super sized card that you make, you know, for custom uh, request or for a family member, you can make a carrying case for your card, kind of like a purse and use ribbons. <laughs> okay. This was a huge card. Okay. Really, really big. And the ribbon served like the handle for the purse. And that's the custom made card that I made. And it's just a quick glance for you guys, because this was really enormous. <laughs> it was for a birthday, of course. And you can also use a ribbon that says happy birthday on it to add to your card. See how easy it looks and look on top. You see that silver part on the left? You can use the ribbon for the edges of your card. And it works beautifully to, to make it very glittery and shiny. So it all depends on the type of ribbon that you have. And you can glue it on with regular glue. You can use double-sided adhesive tapes. You can use glue dots when you add your ribbons. It all depends on type of ribbon that you have. So the ribbons that have a lot of lace, you probably want to go ahead and use very little glue and more of a double-sided tape to make them stick better. See how cute those are? They just work out so well. So I wanted to share this with you guys as a nice idea. And if you guys like what you see, please subscribe. I have a lot of different videos here. And of course, as you know, <laughs> each one is uh, coming out of my own brain. I kind of create my own things and I make them as different as, as possible. And I never make the same card twice or the same project twice. And uh, I try to make them look very, very different. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to speed up the video here real fast because I wanted you to see the little flowers that I added onto this uh, this uh, container uh, for the for the card because what I did is I added brads to hold the ribbon in place and I wanted you guys to see that see those are little brads and different ones in there anyways I really appreciate you guys being here don't forget to leave me your comments and I thank you so much for visiting this video is dedicated to Kay a very very special person and I'm not going to get all choked up right now but I'm just going to go ahead and let you read the ending for here Thanks again for joining me. Bye.